Although the recent weather pattern has not been conducive to major storms in the west, persistent light snows this week have kept the surfaces soft. Trail counts have remained steady as we patiently await the arrival of a sizable storm to bring us a powder day. This week's fresh snow has set the stage for a nice weekend on the region's slopes. In Utah, Powder Mountain, Wolf Mountain, and Beaver Mountain all welcome the snow that resulted from a moist westerly flow from the Pacific. Snow Basin's trail count has risen nicely of late, and the same is true at the canyons and at Park City. They could be opening up additional terrain late this week. Deer Valley's close to full operation. Brighton and Solitude are both good choices for your New Year's weekend turns. How about a day at beautiful Sundance? Alta is now in full operation and all, but a few runs are now skiable at Snowbird. This week's snow just might open up those as well. Down south, Brian Head is enjoying a bountiful snow year. Telluride in southwest Colorado got two nice shots of powder this week. Winter Park got enough snow to open up more terrain. Monarch and Ski Cooper have been right at full operation for several weeks now. Arapahoe Basin will benefit from the persistent snows of late this week, and their trail count should be rising dramatically in the coming days. Light snow could help Sun Valley and Jackson Hole to open up more terrain this weekend. Big Sky in southwest Montana is in excellent shape. Next week looks like the next best shot for significant snow in the west. I'm Herb Stevens, the skiing weatherman. Happy New Year. <laughs>